This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Detective Potato. Peppa and George are watching Detective Potato on TV. Help me, Detective Potato. I cannot find my bicycle. Aha! This is your bicycle. Uh, no, it is not. Then this is your bicycle. Yes, it is. Thank you, Detective Potato. <laughs> Detective Potato is great at solving mysteries. He's the best detective in the world. Right, that's enough potato for today. We're going to the shopping centre. Oh, goody! I love the shopping centre. What are we going to buy at the shops? A big bag of gravel. I'm trying out a new concrete mix idea. Oh. This is the shopping centre. First, Daddy Pig has to find somewhere to park. Hmm, this floor is full. So where do we park, Daddy? Don't worry, there are lots of other floors. Oh, this floor is full too. Oh, oh, up we go. Everywhere looks the same. Yes, that's why you must always remember what floor you park your car on, so you can find your car again. I don't believe it. Not a single space. There's a space. Brilliant. Well done, Pepper. The car is parked. Now we take the lift to the shops. What button do we press? Let's see. Are the shops on floor six or floor three? Here we go. Floor five for the shops. Here is Miss Rabbit's gravel shop. Hello, Daddy Pig. Hello, Miss Rabbit. One bag of gravel, please. Help yourself. It's heavy, so I hope you don't have far to go. <laughs> I only have to carry it to the car. <laughs> My goodness, that is a bit heavy. I hope you find your car. I'm always losing my car in that huge car park. <sighs> what button do I press, Daddy? Just press the number of the floor we parked on. So, what floor do we park on? Uh, good question. Let's try level six. Where is our car, Daddy? It doesn't seem to be here. Oh, dear. Daddy Pig has lost the car. Uh, let's try another floor. This is fun! Peppa likes going up uh. and down in the lift. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. Here are Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Is there anything we can help you with? Daddy has lost our car. Well, it's not really lost. I've just forgotten exactly where I parked it. A lost car in a place of hundreds of cars where everywhere looks the same. This will be a very hard mystery to solve. Name, please. Daddy Pig. Daddy Pig. Address? Can't we just look for the car? <laughs> I'm afraid not. This will take time to solve. It's not like on the television where they solve mysteries in a flash. <laughs> It's Detective Potato! At your service. Detective Potato? Daddy lost our car! Aha! That is a mystery only I can solve. Thank you, but we don't need any help. We have the situation under control. Quiet, please. I need silence to work. This is your car. Uh, no. This is your car. Nope. This is your car. Yes, that is our car. Detective Potato has solved the mystery. Hooray! Hooray! Oh, well done. That was amazing. Oh, ho, ho. it's all in a day's work for a potato. <laughs> <laughs>
brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. The electric car. Peppa and George are in their bedroom. Vroom, vroom! Car! George is playing with his toy car. What is it, George? Car, car! Don't worry, George. It isn't broken. It just needs new batteries. There. Hooray! <laughs> Daddy's home! <laughs> <laughs> That's not Daddy. Oh, it is Daddy. Hello. Have we got a new car? No. I'm just trying it out. It looks fun. It's an electric car. It's a car that runs on batteries instead of petrol. Ooh. Just like George's toy car. <laughs> Daddy's got a toy car just like George's. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we go for a drive? Yes, yes please. please. Then let's go. Oh, the car is broken. Does it need new batteries? Oh, yes, of course. We just need to charge up the battery. Look! The battery is charging up. Finished! The electric car is fully charged up. Right. Is everybody ready? Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig! Then let's go! Wow, this car is so quiet. Yes, electric cars are quiet until they start talking. What do you mean, talking? Oh, oh, it's time you met Roger. Hey, Roger. Hello, my name is Roger. <gasps> Hello, Roger. Hello, Pepper. <laughs> Roger is very clever. He always knows which way to go and he can park all by himself. Wow. wow! I can even drive by myself. Really? really? Sit back and relax, Daddy Pig. Let me drive. OK, if you say so. Ooh. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I am an expert driver. Whee! It's a magic car! <laughs> Stop! It is Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Hello, hello, hello. What's going on here, then? Driving with no hands, Daddy Pig. I wasn't driving. Yes, you were. No, I wasn't. Well, if you weren't driving, then who was? Car driving itself, was it? Yes, yes it, it was. was. Well, I'd better talk to the car, then, hadn't I? Hello, car. Hello. Whoa, what in the wide world was that? He's called Roger and he's very nice. Yes, he can even drive himself. Can you now? Well, to drive on these roads, you need a driving license. Oh. oh. So, Roger, do you have a driving license? Oh, of course. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, in that case, everything seems to be in order. Bye. Bye. Drive safely. Roger the car is driving safely. Amazing! Roger can do everything. George's car can sing. Drive, drive, driving along, <laughs> driving while I sing a song. Can you sing, Roger? Yes, I can sing. Car, car, electric car, travelling near and travelling far. Knows exactly where you are. Knows exactly where you are. Oh! Where are we? We are now arriving home. Hooray! <laughs> Thank you, Roger. At your service. Will you be all right outside in the night? Oh, yes. I'm used to it. OK, Roger. Sleep well. Thank you, Pepper. You too. Pepper loves Roger. Everybody loves Roger the electric car. Peppa Pig. I'm Peppa Pig. 
little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Stone Age Granny. Peppa and George are spending the day with Granny and Grandpa Pig. Granny, Granny! <laughs> Where's Granny Pig? Here I am. Granny Pig is wearing a pretend beard. Today I am a caveman. Ooh. Granny and her friends are pretending to be in the Stone Age. What's the Stone Age? Well, it was a long, long time ago. When people lived in caves, ate berries, and chased big hairy elephants called mammoths. Can we be Stone Age too? Of course you can. I've made you both costumes. Look, George, we're in the Stone Age. <laughs> Come and see what we're doing in the garden. Here are Granny Wolf, Granny Dog and Madame Gazelle. Look, everyone, here are Stone Age Pepper and George. Hello. We are digging a cave with our stone tools. Why don't you have buckets and spades? Stone Age people didn't have buckets and spades. You see, today we are living exactly as people did in the Stone Age. Tea time for thirsty Stone Age people. Oh, lovely. Do Stone Age people drink tea? Uh, not exactly. But I'm sure if they could have had tea, they would have had tea. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Mmm, all this digging has made me rather hungry. Me too! Let's gather berries! Yes, berries! Mmm, strawberries! <laughs> ah, you're eating all my precious strawberries. But that's what Stone Age people did. Well, can't you do some other Stone Agey thing instead? I suppose we could chase woolly mammoths. Good idea. But there aren't any woolly mammoths now. Grandpa Pig can be a woolly mammoth. Yes. yes! Oh, all right. If it keeps you away from my strawberries. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. You run and we will chase you. OK. Ho-ho! <laughs> I'm a woolly mammoth. <sighs> Coming to get you! <laughs> <laughs> You'll never get me! Yes, we will! <laughs> uh, <laughs> Got you! <laughs> <laughs> well done, Pepper and George! Now we carry the mammoth back to our cave! Yes! yes. Lift! Oh, the mammoth is a bit too heavy to carry! Actually, Grandpa Pig, would you mind walking? Who? Oh. Very well. <laughs> the Stone Age people have arrived back at their cave. Hmm. It's going to take ages to dig a cave with little bits of stone. I have an idea. Where's my telephone? Granny, did Stone Age people have telephones? Uh, no. But if they could have had telephones, they would have had telephones. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Bull speaking. Hello, Mr. Bull. Could you come and dig a big cave for us, please? I'll be right there. Marvellous. Thank you. Stand back, everybody! Mr. Bull has arrived with his digger. Granny, did Stone Age people have diggers? No. But I'm sure if they could have had diggers... They, they would, would have, have had, had diggers. diggers. There you are! Now we can decorate our cave with paintings. Just like Stone Age people did. I'm painting us chasing a woolly mammoth. I'm painting Granny with a cup of tea on the telephone and Mr Bull with a digger. Oh, exactly how it was in the Stone Age. <laughs> 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 I'm Peppa 
Peppa Pig. This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Space adventure! Peppa and George are spending the day at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Grandpa Pig! Papa Pig! <laughs> Hello, Peppa and George. See you later. Bye. 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 Hello, Pepper and George. Granny Pig. Granny Pig is wearing a space suit. Why is Granny dressed as a space person? Oh, Granny is playing another little game with her friends. I'm doing an important historical reenactment. <laughs> it's about when people first landed on the moon a long time ago. Ooh. Follow me. If you ask me, it's just an excuse to have cups of tea and some cake. System checks complete, Granny. Rocket is ready for blast-off. Wow! A rocket! Yes! It's Grumpy Rabbits. He's kindly lent it to us for the day. What excitement! I'll just get the rocket ready for its blast-off to the moon. <laughs> Granny? Are we really going to the moon? No, Peppa. It's just pretend. Ah! We are going to pretend the garden is the moon and do the things they did on the first moon landing. We will plant a flag and we will collect moon rocks. Just be careful of my rockery. Don't worry, Grandpa Pig. We will be very careful. Well, while you play your game, I think I'll make myself useful getting the tea and cakes ready. Have fun. All aboard, everyone. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Oh, well, I suppose six, these harmless little garden five, games keep Granny four, happy. Three, two, one. We Oh, my goodness! Grumpy Rabbit's rocket has really taken off! Why does the game have to be so noisy? Grumpy Rabbit! This was just meant to be pretend! Pretend? What would be the fun in that? So, are we really going to the moon? We certainly are! It's a space adventure of a lifetime! If we're really going to the moon, I suppose our reenactment will be even better. Grumpy Rabbit's rocket has landed on the moon. It's one small step for Granny Pig. And one giant leap for Grumpy Rabbit! Woohoo! Come on, Pepper and George! Whee! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> the moon is Yes, Peppa. We can jump very high on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> These games of grannies. I hope they're not messing up my garden. <laughs> the first people to land on the moon planted a flag to show that they had been there. <laughs> Excellent, George. And they collected rocks. This is a pretty rock. Well done, Pepper. We can take that moon rock home with us. Did Grandpa Pig mention cups of tea for later? Yes. <gasps> I think we've earned it. Let's go home. Three, two, one! <laughs> the rocket is flying back home. My goodness! Granny's garden game is getting even noisier. Grandpa, Grandpa! How did the game go? We went to the moon. Super! It's true. We really did go to the moon. Of course you did, Granny Pig. And we brought you back a moon rock. Lovely. It will sit very nicely in my rockery. <laughs> I love space adventures. Everyone loves space adventures. Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig.
This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Fire station practice. Today is the Mummy's Fire Station practice day. Hello, Mummy Pig. Are you ready for action? Yes, Miss Rabbit. Mummy, can we stay and watch you practice? Oh, there won't be much to see, Peppa. It's mostly just sitting around and drinking tea. Daddy Pig, we do proper fire service training here. Ready, steady, go is our motto. And to get that right, we need to practice. Yes, stay and watch. Daddy Pig might learn something. This is the fire service control room. Time for a cup of tea, I think. What did I tell you? We need a cup of tea to get ready for the day. In an emergency, we have to be ready in seconds. This first practice will show you just how ready we are. When I ring this bell, the tea drinking stops, the helmets go on, everyone slides down the fire pole... Whee! Whee! Into the fire engine and off they go! Follow me outside for the next bit. Whee! 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 Remember, ready, steady, go. You just saw ready, now watch our steady. You have to be very steady when using the fire hose. Mummy's ready? Steady! Go! Mummy Dog fixes the hose to the fire engine. Mummy Pony rolls out the hose. And Mummy Pig points the squirty end at the target. Turn the water on! Water on! Steady, Mummy! Steady! The target is hit. And the fire is out! Hooray! That looks fun. It's hard work, Daddy Pig. Is it really? Yes. Just feel how heavy this fire hose is. Oh, yes. That is heavy. And that's even before we've turned the water on. Turn the water on! OK! It is not easy to hold a fire hose steady. That was hard work. Now you see why we need to be super fit. Yes! yes. And how do we get super fit? On the Fire Station Obstacle Course. This is the Fire Station Obstacle Course. Running through this keeps us fit and healthy. So that in an emergency we can keep going. We've shown our ready and our steady. Now let's practice our go. Ready, steady, go! The first obstacle is the inconvenient wall. Go, go! Yee! Woo! Next is the confusing crawling tube. Oh, where am I? <laughs> oh, here I am. Go, Mummy, go! Across the seesaw of general upsets. Ah! Through the tricky tippy toe tyres. One, two, one, two, one, two. Up the sloping rope walk. <sighs> And down the yippee zip wire! Yippee! 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 Oh dear, Mummy Pig is stuck. <gasps> Mummy, are you alright? I'm fine, Pepper. Actually, this mud is quite nice. Stay there, Mummy! <laughs> <laughs> Yippee! 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 <laughs> Everyone likes fire station practice, especially when there are muddy puddles to jump in. Peppa Pig. <laughs> I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little 
brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. <laughs> Mr. Bill the teacher. Today, Peppa and her friends are at playgroup. Mr. Bull is cutting the grass. Good morning, children. Good morning, Madame Gazelle. Today, we are going to be learning all about... <laughs> what is so funny? Madame Gazelle, you made a squeak. Oh, it is just a squeaky floorboard. Mm, I really should get it fixed. Hello? Oh, I completely forgot. I'll be right there. Children, I must go to the dentist. I will only be gone for a little while. Who will be our teacher? Oh, um... Moo! Oh, I'll finish cutting the grass. Excellent. Mr Bull, would you mind looking after the children while I go to the dentist? Uh... Thank you so much. Children, Mr Bull will be your teacher. I will be back very soon. Be good. We will. Good morning, children. Good morning, Mr Bull. Today I will teach you all about numbers. We've already done numbers. Have you? Can you tell me what number this is, then? Five. Very good, Danny. Does anyone know any other numbers? One, six, forty-two. Oh, you do know your numbers. Well, do you know the letters of the alphabet? Yes. C for cat. D for dog. E for elephant. <laughs> we know lots of letters. So I see. Has Madame Gazelle taught you any nursery rhymes? Mary had a little lamb. Days of the week. Friday. Fruit and vegetables. Carrot. Gosh, Madame Gazelle has taught you everything. There's nothing left for me to do. <laughs> What's that? It's the squeaky floorboard. Madame Gazelle wants it fixed. Does she now? Well, I've just thought of something I can teach you. How to fix a squeaky floorboard! Hooray! A couple of taps with this hammer will fix it. Hello? Hello, Mr. Bull. How are you getting on? Oh, very good. I'm just teaching the children how to fix things. Ah, that sounds nice. I'll be back soon. All right. Bye-bye. That, children, is how you fix a squeaky floorboard. It's still squeaking. Stand back. I need to take a closer look. There we go. This was the squeaky floorboard. But the floor is still squeaking. <laughs> oh, it must be this floorboard. There we go. It's still squeaking! <laughs> There's only one thing for it. What's that? We dig up the floor! Hooray! Hello, Mr. Bull. I am coming back now. Is everything OK? Yes, yes. It's all under control. See you soon. Stand back, children! Mr. Bull is fixing the floor. Madame Gazelle is back from the dentist. Ah! Mr. Bull, what are you doing to my school? Mr. Bull is fixing the squeaky floor. That's right. Look, no squeaks now. That is because there is no floor now. Oh, yes. Put everything back how it was before, please. Right you are. <laughs> Mr. Bull is good at digging holes. And hopefully good at filling them in again. Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig.
little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Looking for things. Peppa and her family are in the kitchen. Mummy Pig is making an apple pie. Is the apple pie ready yet, Mummy? No, Peppa. It has to cook in the oven. Well, it looks like we'll just have to wait. Yes. What are you all doing? We're waiting for the apple pie. Well, it's going to take time to cook. <coughs> Why don't you all wait somewhere else? Oh, oh okay. okay. What do we do now? <coughs> well, I was going to do my crossword puzzle, but I can't find anything to write with. We Find you something, Daddy. Come on, George. <laughs> George, we need to find something for Daddy to write with. <laughs> George has found Mr. Dinosaur. <laughs> you can't write with Mr. Dinosaur. <laughs> George has found a toy train. And you can't write with the train. Oh. Look, a crayon! <coughs> Daddy can write with this. <coughs> Come on, George! <laughs> Daddy, we found something to write with! Oh, a crayon. Just what I needed. Thank you, Pepper and George. Hmm. Ah! Oh. OK, let's play a looking game. Find something that is the shape of a square. A square? Yes, there must be something square-shaped in this room. Can you see a square, George? George has found a clock. Hmm, that's a circle. Oh. We need to find a square. That picture is a square. <laughs> Very good. You found a square. Hooray! What should we look for now? Now you must find something that makes a squeaky noise. Something that makes a squeaky noise. Try looking in the bathroom. OK. <laughs> Look for something that makes a squeaky noise, George. George has found a towel. Towels don't squeak. <coughs> Towels are very quiet. Oh. Squeaky. The rubber duck. <laughs> that makes a squeaky noise. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, look what we found. Oh, oh. Excellent. Now see if you can find something the colour of blue. Something blue? OK. <laughs> Pepper and George have found a ball. That's not blue. That's red. Oh. Pepper and George look in Mummy and Daddy's bedroom. Aw, there's nothing blue here. Pepper and George look in the office. Everything is not blue. Did you find anything? There is nothing in the whole house that is blue. Hmm. Have you looked in the mirror? Daddy, the mirror is not blue. <gasps> blue! What is it, George? Blue! <laughs> George is blue. That's right. <laughs> Pepper, George. Mummy, Mummy, we've been looking for things. Oh. I've got something you can look for. What is it, Mummy? It's round. A ball. Round and flat on top. A bit like a hat. A hat. And it tastes yummy. The apple pie. Yes, the apple pie is ready. Hooray! Hooray! I love looking for things. And I love finding things. Especially when it's apple, apple pie. pie. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig.
Peppa Pig. This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Poems. It is another day at Playgroup. Good morning, children. Good morning, Madame Giselle. Ahem. Purple woolly socks are mittens for my feet. When the days are cold, they keep in all the heat. That, children, was a poem about woolly socks. Oh, what about woolly socks? A poem is a magical way of using words that puts a picture in your mind. A picture of woolly socks? Not just woolly socks. A poem can be about anything. A lovely garden on a hot summer day. A young man. A broken heart. And woolly socks. <laughs> uh, yes. And sometimes the words in a poem rhyme, like feet and heat. Or cat and mat. Or dog and dog. No, Danny. That is not a rhyme. That is the same word. Oh, yes. Madame Gazelle. I can't think of any words. If you can't think of words, you can use sounds instead. Listen to the wind. It goes, ooh, wah, ooh, wah. <laughs> <laughs> Aho, playtime, children. <laughs> Look for something we can make a poem about. <laughs> What can we make a poem about? A little bird. Little bird. Birdy bird. You are very birdy. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, Peppa. What about the swing? <laughs> swing, swing, swingy thing. Swingy thingy, swing thing. <laughs> <laughs> Making up poems is easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> <laughs> ah, oh. It is raining. Oh dear, I must get the big umbrella. <laughs> splash, splash, splash. This is fun. Gather round, children. I have the big umbrella. The big umbrella. That is a big umbrella. Listen to the rain on the umbrella. It goes pitter patter, pitter patter. Now it sounds like. <laughs> Back to school, everyone. <laughs> Madame Gazelle, can we do a poem about the rain? What a good idea, Molly. Let's think of words that remind us of the rain. Uh, rain? Yes, Susie. Rain is rain. But what other words does rain make you think of? It's very splishy. And splashy. <laughs> and it sounds like pitter-patter, pitter-patter. And... Shh. Yes, those are all wonderful rainy words. And how does the rain make you feel? Wet. <laughs> yes, Danny? Anything else? It makes me feel tickly and wriggly. It makes me want to jump up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Put it all together and we can make a poem. Hooray! It is home time and the parents have come to pick up the children. Hello! Today the children have been making up a poem. Would you like to hear it? Yes! Yay! The poem is called Rain. Drip, drip, drip. Drop, drop, drop. Pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter. It is a rainstorm. Wet trickle wriggles. Making lots of puddles. Very good to jump in. Splish, splash, splosh, splish. Bravo. <laughs> Grown ups love poems. Everybody loves poems. Peppa Pig. <laughs> I'm Peppa Pig. 
This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Please and thank you. Granny and Grandpa Pig are having breakfast at Peppa's house. Mummy, may I have some juice, please? Of course you may, Peppa. Thank you. <laughs> well, I never. It says here that children today are very rude. Would you like some juice, George? Please. Thank you. It says children have no manners and never say please and thank you. Oh, Pepper and George always say please and thank you, don't you? Yes, Grandpa. <laughs> I'm very glad to hear that because please and thank you are very important words. In fact, they are magic. Magic? Oh, yes. Nice things happen when you say please and thank you. Please, please, please. No, George. You only say please when you ask for something. And you say thank you when someone does something for you. Thank you, thank you, thank <laughs> you, thank you. Oh, oh, it's time to go to playgroup. <laughs> <laughs> Is everybody ready? Yes, Daddy Pig! Then let's go! Thank you! This is Peppa's playgroup. Mr Bull is cutting the grass. The grass is looking lovely, Mr Bull. Oh, thank you, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Good morning, children. Good morning, Madam Gazelle. Let me introduce you to the Being Nice Tree. What does it do? When someone is nice, I put a picture of them in the branches. Ooh! How do we be nice? There are lots of ways to be nice. <laughs> Madame Gazelle, I know some magic words that are nice. Please and thank you. Oh, yes! The magic words. Please tell us about them. If you want something, you need to say please. <laughs> and if somebody gives you something, you say thank you. Very good. Oh, this is something we can all practice with a little game. I will need two children. Susie Sheep <laughs> and Danny Dog. <laughs> now, Susie has an apple. Thank you, Madame Gazelle. Very good, Susie. And Danny would like that apple. Yes, I would like that apple. OK, Danny, ask Susie for the apple. Can I have that apple? Yes. Mmm, yummy. Let's try that again. When you ask for something, Danny, you must remember to say the magic word. Abracadabra. No. What is the magic word, children? Please. Oh, yes. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Then off you go. Can I have that apple, please? No. Susie. He's already got an apple. This is not about apples. It is about saying please. OK. Here's another apple. And now, Danny? What? The other magic word. Oh, yes. Thank you. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Feet, legs and knees I like saying please, please, please Thank you so much for that thing Thank you makes me want to sing Hairs, feet, legs and knees I like saying please, please, please Thank you so much for that thing Thank you makes me want to sing Hairs, feet, legs and knees I like saying please, please, please Thank you so much for that thing Thank you makes me want to sing <laughs> What wonderful singing, children! You will all go on the being nice tree Hooray! <laughs> I finished cutting the grass, Madame Gazelle. Very good, Mr. Bull. Goodbye. <laughs> Madame Gazelle! What? What is it? You forgot to say thank you. Oh, yes. How rude of me. Thank you, Mr. Bull, for all your hard work. It was my pleasure. And thank you, children, for reminding me to say my please and thank yous. <laughs> Madame Gazelle likes to say please and thank you. Everyone <laughs> likes to say please and thank you. Hairs, feet, legs and knees. I like saying please, please, please. Thank you so much for that thing. Thank you makes me want to sing. Thank you makes me want to sing. <laughs> <laughs> This is my little...
brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Ice cream. Pepper and George are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house today. To me, George. Throw to me. <laughs> Mr Labrador is here in his new ice cream van. Ice, ice cream! cream. Everyone is queuing for ice cream. Muff. Hello, Mrs. Cat. What flavour would you like? Is the vanilla ice cream nice? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I haven't tried it yet. It is Mr. Labrador's first day selling ice creams. Oh, it's delicious. Oh, nom, 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 nom. Would you like one? Yes, please. What's the strawberry flavour like? I I'd better check. Oh, nom, 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 nom. oh, that's nice as well. I want a strawberry ice cream. What do you want, George? Ice cream. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Um, 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 um. Is the mint ice cream good? Mmm, <laughs> lovely. Um, 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 um. Four mint ice creams, please. Thank you, Mr Labrador. It is Pepper and George's turn. Can I have a strawberry ice cream, please? Ah, oh, I seem to have run out of strawberry ice cream. Then. Can I have a vanilla ice cream, please? Oh, there's no vanilla left either. Actually, I've got no ice cream left at all. <laughs> no ice cream? <laughs> hmm, maybe I tried too many myself. <laughs> yes, maybe you did. Mr Labrador loves ice cream. Don't worry, my little ones. Let's make our own ice cream instead. Can we do that? Yes. We used to make ice cream for your mummy when she was a little piggy. Oh, homemade ice cream. That sounds lovely. Up aboard now. Take it back home. Can we have the ice cream music, please? Good idea, Pepper. <laughs> 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 right, let's make ice cream. First, we pour some milk into a jug. Then we add some cream. Now, what flavour would you like your ice cream to be? We do have raspberries and strawberries from the garden. Yes! Let's make raspberry and strawberry ice cream. <laughs> In they go. Then we pour all our ingredients into a freezer bag. Now we need to make it very cold. Ooh. We'll put the ice cream bag into this bag full of ice and salt. And wrap it all in a towel. Now for the fun part. We shake it up and down for five minutes. You can start the shaking, Pepper. Ice cream, ice cream, shake, shake, shake. Ice cream, ice cream is what we make. <laughs> <laughs> very good, Pepper. Ice cream! Ice cream! <laughs> ice cream, ice cream, shake, shake, shake. Ice cream, ice cream is what we make. One last shake from me and I think it might be ready. Did it work? Yes. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. It's the best ice cream in the world. Yum, yum. Granny? Can all my friends come for ice cream? Of course they can, Pepper. Oh, in that case, we'll need to make a lot more ice cream. Hooray! Hooray! Ice cream! The best ice cream in the world! All of Pepper's friends are here for ice cream. Hooray! Can I have banana? Can we have raspberry? Can I have blueberry, please? Here you go! <laughs> Mmm, that's delicious. Have you got carrot flavour? Oh, I don't think so. Yes, we do. Made with carrots from my very own garden. Mmm, thank you, Peppa. <laughs> I love ice cream. We all love ice cream, Mr Labrador. Yes, but I really love ice cream. <laughs> 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 Peppa Pig <laughs> Peppa Pig <laughs> Peppa Pig This is my 
little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Science Museum. Peppa and her playgroup are visiting the museum. This way, children. Follow me. Here is Miss Rabbit. Hello, everyone. Has anyone ever been to a museum before? Yes! yes! Good! Then you know that in a museum you can look, but not touch. Because everything in a museum is very delicate. Oops! Yes, these old things break easily. But today we're going to visit the Science Museum. Here you can touch everything. Yay! Buttons to press. Wow! <laughs> Brilliant! <laughs> Ooh, spooky! Pull on that rope and try to lift the weight. <sighs> it's too heavy! Now try that rope with the pulleys on it. Wow! Now it's easy! <gasps> My goodness! How does that work? Well, it's a... Um... The system increases the mechanical advantage proportionally to the number of pulleys. Yes, that's what I was going to say. My little brother Edmund is super clever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, a tube. Hello, Susie Sheep here. Oh, where are you? Let's find the end of the tube. <laughs> Here I am. <laughs> Hello, Susie Sheep here. Amazing! Oh, maybe in the future this could be used for talking to people a long way away. You mean like a telephone? Oh, uh, yes. Telephones exist already, don't they? Magic balloons! Get your magic balloons here! Are they really magic balloons? Uh, no. Not really, but they're still pretty amazing. Want to see? Yes, please! All we need to do is rub it like this, and then... The balloon is sticking to the wall. Magic! No, not magic, but static. How does it work? No idea. Protons are said to have a charge of plus one electron unit, while electrons have a charge of minus one. Which explains static. What does that bang? Hello, children! Here is Grumpy Rabbit. Now it's time for some dangerous science. <laughs> Don't be alarmed. There is a responsible adult in charge. Me. Who wants to ride in this rocket? Me, me, me! Pepper, kindly jump in. Um, are you sure this is completely safe? Of course it's safe. Now, Pepper, put your hands against mine. On the count of three, push! One, two, three, push! Wow, I'm moving! Yes, that's called propulsion! Ah! But real rockets use rocket fuel to blast off. Who wants to fly in this rocket? Me, me, me! It has to be someone small. There's not much room inside. I'm small! Perfect! In you get, Edmund! And uh, this is completely safe for children too? Yes, the rocket just flies itself. No, I meant... Off you go. Oh, my goodness! Woohoo! Woo! <laughs> Lucky the museum has a high ceiling! <laughs> and that is how rocket propulsion works. That was fun! It was brilliant! It was, uh... Unbelievable! <laughs> Pepper loves the Science Museum. Everyone loves the Science Museum. Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig.
Peppa Pig. This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Jukebox. Pepper and George have been sailing with Granny and Grandpa Pig. All ashore. Aye, Captain. <laughs> I'm rather thirsty. Shall we have a juice in the clubhouse? Yes, please. Ah, uh, the clubhouse is a bit stuffy, Grandpa Pig. <laughs> Not much fun for Pepper and George. That's all right, Granny. We only want a juice. It is very quiet in the clubhouse. Could we have four fruit juices, please? Do you have a membership card, sir? Of course. Very good, sir. Here are Mr Stallion and Mrs Corgi. Ah, <gasps> Grandpa Pig. Good to see you, old bean. Shh. Sorry. What are all these people doing here, Granny? I don't know, Pepper. Mostly sleeping, I think. Oh, what's this? It's a jukebox. <laughs> it plays music. I like music. But it looks like this one hasn't played music in a long time. Four fruit juices. Thank you, Grandpa. <laughs> a jukebox? Yes, but it's not playing music. It might play music if we put a coin in. Uh, we don't want to disturb anybody. Oh, Grandpa. <laughs> There wouldn't be a jukebox here if they didn't want us to play it. I suppose so. Let's choose something quiet. Of course. Coin, please. Thank you. Ooh. Now, where's the rock and roll music? <laughs> here we are. Rock and roll. <laughs> this is rock and roll music. Come on, George, let's dance. We're gonna roll, 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 rock and roll. We're gonna rock. What's all this noise? I am so sorry. Yes, here you should be. Disco music is what you want to play. Disco music? I'll show you. Have you got a coin? Of course. Thank you. Here we go. Get ready to groove on down. <laughs> this is disco music. Groove on down to the disco town. What a racket! Why don't you play something good? So, what do you think is good music then? Hip hop. Has anyone got a coin? Grandpa has coins. OK, here you go. With a hip and a hop, you got a hip This hop. is hip-hop music. With a hip and a hop, you got a hip-hop. Well, I never. <laughs> this is brilliant. <laughs> With a hip and a hop, you got a hip-hop. <laughs> Mrs Corby? Is dancing like a robot. Wow! Look at that! With a hip and a hop, you got a hip hop. With a hip and a hop, you got a hip hop. Is somebody having a party? It is Grampy Rabbit. Excuse me, sir, but are you a member? No, but I'm with him. Uh, hello, Grampy Rabbit. Hi there. I heard music. We found a jukebox. Does he play my kind of music? And what, dare I ask, is your kind of music? Heavy metal, of course. And I suppose you need a coin. Thanks, old chap. This is heavy metal music. <laughs> This is the only music to dance to. <laughs> Grampy Rabbit loves dancing to the jukebox. Everybody loves dancing to the jukebox. I woke up this morning. The sea was still there. And so was the sky. The sea, the sky, the sea, the sky. Peppa Pig. 
This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Windmills. Today, Peppa and her friends are at playgroup. It is playtime. Play nicely, children. Moo! Here is Mr. Bull. Morning, Madam Gazelle. Sorry about the noise. What noise? That noise! We've got a big job on this hill. Uh, thank you for your patience at this time. Madam Gazelle, what is Mr. Bull building? I don't know, Peppa. Let's watch and see if we can guess. <laughs> Mr. Bull has a big drill. He's digging a big hole. He's making a swimming pool. A swimming pool! Hooray! No, that's not a swimming pool. It's a rocket! A, a rocket! Hooray! But it's got petals. It's a big flower. A big flower? Oh, it's a windmill. Yes, Peppa, it is a windmill. To make electricity. Edmund is right. Edmund Elephant is a bit of a clever clogs. <laughs> the windmill uses wind to make electricity. How? Well, the wind spins the top bit around and electricity comes out the bottom. Ah! Oh. Madame Gazelle, is electricity good? Oh, yes, Susie. We need electricity to power things like lights, television, and music. Back inside, children. <laughs> <laughs> Can we make windmills, Madam Gazelle? Yes. We will need paper and glue and some straws. Let me show you all how to make a little windmill. First, you fold a square piece of paper like so. We make a little snip from each corner. Put a blob of glue in the middle of the paper. Then we fix one side of each corner to the middle. Now, all we need is a straw and a paper fastener to fix our paper windmill. There! A windmill! Wow! Now it is your turn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make a green windmill. I'm going to make a red one. <laughs> I will make a big one. <laughs> First, we fold to the corners. Then a grown-up can do the snipping. Next, we put a blob of glue in the middle. Then stick it all down. Just one side of each corner, Freddy. Now we pin it to the straw. Maybe I should do the pinning, Pepper. There. <laughs> it's a spinny windmill. Is everyone's windmill spinning? Mm. Yes! 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 yes. 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 Mm. Mine's not. Edmund has built a big windmill. I can't blow hard enough. Maybe if we all blow together. <gasps> wow. wow! It's as big as Mr Bull's windmill. Let's go and see how he's getting on. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bull's windmill is finished. Wow! Are you making lots of electricity, Mr. Bull? Yes, and we're using the electricity for something very important. Mr. Bull is boiling a kettle. Tea break, lads! All the electricity from the windmill has made a pot of tea. Oh, lovely. That hits the spot. Mr. Bull and his friends like tea. What a wonderful windmill, Mr. Bull. And how useful it is. <laughs> windmills are brilliant. <laughs> Peppa loves windmills. Everyone loves windmills. Peppa Pig. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little.
little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Mandy Mouse's birthday. Today is Mandy Mouse's birthday. As a special treat, Mandy is going to Cheese World with her friends. Mandy, what is Cheese World? It's the most fun ever! There's a cheese river, a cheese mountain and a cheese sky! Wow! And best of all is the cheese castle, where you get to smell cheese! <laughs> you like cheese, don't you, Mandy? Yes, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Cheese World. Have any of you been here before? Yes, I have. Oh, hello, Mandy. Nice to see you back again. <laughs> <laughs> so, as Mandy already knows, everything at Cheese World is about... Cheese! That's right. And we start by sailing on a river of... Cheese! <laughs> this is the River of Cheese. Hold tight, everyone! Miss Rabbit, are the boats made out of real cheese? No, the boats are made out of plastic. Boats made out of real cheese would be bizarre. Ah. The Cheese River flows past hills and trees of cheese. <laughs> this is the Cheese Mountain. Ooh! made out of real cheese? No, but this is exactly what it would be like to sail through a cheese mountain. Oh. If cheese mountains existed. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to the cheese aeroplanes. Wow! Now, has anyone flown one of these planes before? I have! Of course. Hi there, Mandy. <laughs> Can you show your friends what to do? Yes. <laughs> if you pull the lever, the plane goes up. Wow! And if you push the lever, the plane goes down. Ooh! All aboard your aeroplanes! <laughs> up, up, and away! <laughs> this is brilliant! <laughs> There's the cheese sun. <laughs> and the clouds are cottage cheese. I can see the whole world, and it's all cheese. Ooh. Was that fun? Yes! <laughs> Told you it would be the most fun ever! <laughs> Hello, Mandy Mouse. Lovely to see you at Cheese World again. Hello, Grumpy Rabbit. Have you told your friends about my castle of cheese? I told them the castle of cheese was the best bit. Oh, right. It's where we get to smell real cheese. No pretend cheese here. Ooh. Follow me, if you dare, into my castle of cheese. <laughs> Let's start by smelling a mild cheese. Mmm, that smells good. I like it too. Not much of a smell. <laughs> Now for some decently strong cheese. <laughs> ah, that's more like it. A proper stinky one. Ooh, it smells like my daddy's socks. <laughs> and now, boys and girls, we come to the strongest cheese in the whole world. Here goes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I call cheese. Mmm, it's the nicest smell I've ever smelt. <laughs> you do so love cheese, don't you, Mandy? Yes, Mummy. I like smelling cheese and I like eating cheese even more. <laughs> Funny you should say that because it's time for your birthday cake. And it's a cheesecake! Happy birthday, Mandy! This is my best birthday ever! <laughs> <laughs> Peppa Pig <laughs> Peppa Pig <laughs> Peppa Pig <laughs> Thank you.
little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. The Sandcastle. It is a lovely sunny day. Peppa and George have come to the seaside. <laughs> I'm going to make a sandcastle. <laughs> I want to make a sandcastle too. And me. OK, George and me will show you how. <laughs> Put sand in your bucket. Turn your bucket over. Tap it with your spade. Good. Now, lift up the bucket. Ta-da! 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 Pepper, George, <laughs> Mummy and Daddy Pig have made four sandcastles. Yay! Here is Pedro Pony. Hello, Pepper. Hello, Pedro. Do you like our sandcastles? Yes, but it would be better if you had walls joining them together. Like this. <laughs> Good idea, Pedro. Yes, lovely walls. <laughs> the walls have joined the castle together. Now it's one big sand castle. Wendy Wolf is at the seaside too, with her daddy. That's a good castle. Thank you, Wendy. I like the walls. Nothing like good, strong walls. What are they made of? Straw? Sticks? Bricks? Sand. Excellent. Let's make something in the middle. Like what? How about the biggest sandcastle in the world? Yes! yes. We need a heap of sand. <laughs> Wendy, Pedro, Pepper and George are making a hill in the middle of the castle. And on the very top... Ta-da! It looks great. Yes, really good. Now it needs the bobbly bits. What are bobbly bits? All castles have bobbly bits on top of the walls, like this. Ah! Wendy Wolf is using pebbles to make the castle's bobbly bits. And it needs flags. <laughs> Pepper and George are collecting little sticks and some seaweed to make flags. <laughs> it needs windows. <laughs> Pedro is using shells to make windows. <laughs> there. What a fantastic sandcastle. Let's add a moat. What's a moat? You'll see. We dig the moat all around outside the wall. Good idea. Everyone help dig. OK. <laughs> <laughs> and now we have to fill the moat with water. Let's get water from the sea. <laughs> the moat is full of water. The castle's finished. Hooray! I wish it could be my home and I could live in it. <laughs> You're too big to live in a sandcastle, Pepper. Here is Mr. Crab. He's come to take a look at the castle. Hello, Mr. Crab. Do you have a home to live in? Oh, he looks sad. <coughs> I don't think Mr. Crab has a home. He can live in our castle. Yes, in you go, Mr. Crab. <coughs> oh, but how does he get across the moat? He needs a bridge. <laughs> George has found a piece of driftwood. <laughs> George has made a bridge. Mr. Crab likes the bridge. But he can't get inside the castle. We just need to make a little door. Mr. Crab is the king of the castle. <laughs> it's the best sign castle in all the world. <laughs> Peppa Pig <laughs> Peppa Pig <laughs> Peppa Pig This is 
my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Children's Festival. Peppa is going to a children's festival. Daddy, what is a festival? It's a big outdoor party with lots to see and do. I just hope it doesn't rain, otherwise it can get a bit muddy. Don't worry, it won't be muddy. Oh, I like mud. This is the children's festival. Wow! wow. <laughs> Welcome to the festival! At the children's festival, there are so many fun things to see and do. <laughs> Here is Susie Sheep. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. Isn't this great? It's brilliant. There's so much going on. What shall we do first? We've got making things, sandcastles, storytelling. Yes, I like stories. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> this is the story tent. All of Peppa's friends are here. Hello, children. If you want a story about a pirate, say, Aha! Aha! Good. Once upon a time, there was a pirate. He found a desert island and he dug up some buried treasure. The end. <gasps> what an adventure! That story makes me miss the sea. I must set sail at once and find that desert island. Captain Dog loves the sea. It's just a story, Daddy. You don't need to set sail. Oh, yes. No need for me to set sail ever again. I like the children's festival. Yes, and not a drop of rain. We've been really lucky this year. Oh, oh. I told you it wouldn't be muddy. A little bit of mud would be nice. This way to the making things tent. <laughs> <laughs> um, today, we're going to learn how to make something from the olden days. Who wants to make a basket? Hmm. Okie dokie. How about knitting an olden days hat? How about a dragon? Me! Me! All the children are making dragons. <laughs> wow, those dragons are good. Almost like the real thing. Dragons are not real. They are mythical creatures. You're a bit of a clever clogs, aren't you? Actually, the correct term is child prodigy. <laughs> Making things was fun. And we've still got lots to see and do tomorrow. Tomorrow? Are we staying here tonight? We certainly are. Yes, I was hoping we could find a hotel nearby, but... I thought camping would be more fun. Yay! Camping! Great. <laughs> <laughs> this is the camping area. Hello! Hello, Peppa. Are you camping too? We're not camping, we're glamping. What's glamping? It's like camping, but with lots of home comforts. We've got a bathroom with a basin and a bath and a toilet. <laughs> and we've got a living room. And a TV. Wow. wow. Glamping looks great. Daddy, are we glamping? No, we have our own little tent. Hopefully, it's not too difficult to put up. It shouldn't be a problem. After all, I am a qualified structural engineer. Mummy Pig, put the tent on the poles, please. That's it. Easy as pie. Hooray! Are you enjoying the festival? It's brilliant. Yes, and it's lucky it hasn't rained. Too right. When it rains, this field just becomes mud. We like mud. But mud and camping don't go so well together. Ho, ho! It's not going to rain. Night, night, everyone. Night, night. 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 Peppa and her family are sleeping in their little tent at the children's festival. Oh dear, it is starting to rain.
my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Muddy Festival. Peppa and her family are in their little tent at the children's festival. It has been raining all night and the whole field has become mud. What's it like out there, Daddy Pig? Is there any mud? Um, a little bit of mud, yes. Oh, my goodness. Wow! So much mud! <laughs> yes, well, it does say it can get a tiny bit muddy here sometimes. A tiny bit muddy? I've never seen so much mud in all my life. It's brilliant. Yes, <laughs> and we've got a whole day at the festival ahead of us. At the children's festival, there are so many fun things to see and do. Hmm. Let's start with making sandcastles. Yippee! Sandcastles! <laughs> this is the sandcastle area. Who likes making sandcastles? Yay! <laughs> now, you might have noticed it's been raining. So instead of sandcastles, we're making mud castles. Hooray! First, fill your buckets with mud. <laughs> Turn your buckets over. Give them a tap. Lift your buckets. Mud castles. <laughs> I like mud castles. Mud castles are the best. Well done, Miss Rabbit. How did you ever come up with the idea for mud castles? Simple. It rains every year, so we always make mud castles. Ah. So what do we want to do next? How about painting pictures? Yay! This is the painting tent. <laughs> Today, we're going to paint pictures. And instead of paint, we're using mud. Ooh! We've got lots of brown mud and greenish mud. I even found some blue mud this morning. Hmm, what's best to paint with mud? I know, a muddy puddle! <laughs> the children are painting mud pictures. Daddy, what are we doing next? Something that's fun. Learn all about concrete in the olden days. <sighs> that sounds a bit boring. This is the history of concrete area. OK, so who wants to learn about concrete? Hmm. Okie dokie. Owing to the current mud situation, I've got a better idea. Who wants to do some puddle jumping? Me, me, me! <laughs> My most favourite thing in the whole world is jumping up and down in muddy puddles. And if we're going to jump in puddles... We must wear our boots. That's right. Are you ready? Yes! Then jump! <laughs> oh, oh, my turn! <laughs> Daddy Pig has covered everyone in mud. <laughs> Although I say it myself, that was a good puddle jump. Well done, Daddy Pig. But maybe that's enough mud for one day. Yes. Next up is dancing. Oh, good. I love dancing. Dancing in mud. Great. Hooray! Here is Madame Gazelle with her band. Hello, everyone. Are you ready to dance? Yes! yes! Dance, dance, dance in muddy puddles. Splish, splash, splash, splish, splash. Give them big splash here and a big splash there. Give a splash, there a splash, everywhere a splish splash. Dance, dance, dance in muddy puddles. Splish splash, splash, splish splash. Yay! This is a very muddy festival. Peppa <laughs> loves the muddy festival. Everyone loves the muddy festival. With a big splash here and a big splash there. Here a splash, there a splash, everywhere a splish splash. Dance, dance, dance in muddy puddles. Splish, splash, splosh, splish, splash. I'm Peppa Pig. <laughs> 
This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Strawberries. Peppa and George are visiting Granny and Grandpa Pig. Come and see the strawberries I've grown. Grandpa Pig has spent days and days growing strawberries. I think you will be impressed. Perhaps we can make some strawberry jam. Yes, please. <laughs> Peppa and George love <laughs> strawberry jam. <laughs> May I present my strawberry? One strawberry? <laughs> You've grown one strawberry? It will be the best tasting strawberry ever. Why? Is it hiding in a little house, Grandpa? It is hiding because the cheeky little birds have eaten all the rest. Ah! Uh. You cheeky bird! So now there are no strawberries. And we won't make jam. We can still make jam. I know a place that has lots of strawberries. <laughs> it's a strawberry farm. Ooh. So that's where we will go. This is the strawberry farm. Hello there. Have you come to pick strawberries? Yes, Miss Rabbit. Then you've come to the right place. We've got nothing here but strawberries. Wow, so many strawberries. Pick as many as you like. <laughs> here is Pedro Pony with his mummy and daddy. Hello. Hello, Pedro. Have you picked a lot of strawberries? Yes, but my mummy and daddy keep eating them. Oh, is this the way out? I never want to see a strawberry ever again. How strange. I suppose some people just don't like strawberries. <laughs> Picking strawberries is fun. I must say, these strawberries do look lovely. But the real test is if they taste any good. Actually, that is rather good. Mmm, yummy! I love the strawberry farm. Strawberry, strawberry, juicy red and sweet. Strawberry, strawberry, they're so nice to eat. Mmm, scrumptious. But remember, everyone, we're here to collect strawberries to take home and make jam. Put them in your baskets and try not to eat too many. Yes, yes Granny, Granny Pig. Pig! I'll just have one last one. <laughs> I suppose one more won't hurt. Naughty Granny! Naughty Grandpa! Right you are, Peppa. This really is the very last one. <laughs> I can't stop eating them. Hello, birdies. Have you come to eat the strawberries? The little birds do not want to eat the strawberries. Perhaps they have just eaten too many, Peppa. <coughs> yes, I think I've eaten too many. Oh. Peppa's basket is full. George's basket is full. Granny and Grandpa's baskets are empty. Granny, Grandpa, where are your strawberries? Oh, in our tummies. <coughs> Maybe it's time to go home. Here is Danny Dog with his mummy and daddy. They have just arrived at the strawberry farm. Hello, Peppa. <coughs> Hello, Danny. Look at all these strawberries. Oh, don't say that word. What? Strawberries? Oh. How strange. I suppose some people just don't like strawberries. I see you've picked a lot of strawberries. Oh. Where's the way out? The way out is just through the gift shop. What do you sell in your shop, Miss Rabbit? Strawberry cake, strawberry cookies, strawberry cheese, strawberry juice, strawberry sweets, strawberry... Anything without strawberries? Uh, no. I think we've had our fill of strawberries, thank you. Funny, no one ever buys anything from this shop. Miss Rabbit, look at how many strawberries we picked. <laughs> Well done, Pepper and George. Now we can make strawberry jam. Oh. <laughs> Pepper and George love strawberries. Everyone loves strawberries. Strawberry, strawberry, juicy red and sweet. Strawberry, strawberry, they're so nice to eat. <laughs> <laughs> This is 
my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Grandpa Pig's birthday. Peppa and her family are dressed in their very best clothes. <laughs> Today is Grandpa Pig's birthday. A party, a party, we're going to a party. You know, it's not really a party, Peppa. What do you mean? It's just a nice quiet meal in a restaurant on Grandpa Pig's birthday. And you haven't been to a restaurant before, have you? No. So that will be fun, won't it? Yes. <laughs> Peppa and her family have arrived at the restaurant. Ooh, this is nice. <laughs> we can sit here. No, Peppa, come back. Why? We have to be shown to our table by the waiter. <clears throat> have you booked a table? We're with Grandpa Pig. Please, uh, follow me. Hello. 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 Are you here for the party? Shush, Peppa. These people are having their own meals. And remember, it's not really a party. Oh. Peppa! George! Happy birthday, Grandpa! <laughs> Is this my birthday card? Yes. We made it ourselves. It's lovely. But it's sad it's not a real birthday party. I think I'm a bit too old for a real party, Peppa. <laughs> I think Grandpa would rather have a nice, quiet meal. With party hats! <laughs> oh, Peppa! That's not a hat, it's a napkin. The napkins are to stop food and drink getting on your best clothes. <clears throat> would you like to order drinks, madame? Could we have a bottle of water, please? Of course. Can I get you anything else? Party hats, please! Party hats? Yes. Because it is my grandpa's birthday. A grandpa pig's birthday. I'll see what I can do. Peppa, they don't have party hats in posh restaurants like this. Et voilà, party hats. <laughs> oh, party hats. <laughs> oh, uh, thank you. Are you ready to order food? Yes, yes please. please. On the menu today, we have dried fish with seaweed cheese, strained carrot on a mussel cuff, or cream of sweet in a vegetable sug. Um, I think I might try the, uh, strained carrot on a mussel cough. Uh, cream of sweet for me, please. Perhaps the dried fish. Ah, uh, same again, please. And for the children? Spaghetti, please. Spaghetti. Pepper and George <laughs> love spaghetti. <laughs> spaghetti is not on the menu, but I will ask the chef. Pepper, you can't ask for things that aren't on the menu. Strained carrot, cream of sweet, dried fish. And for the children, the chef has made spaghetti. Hooray! Spaghetti! Bon appetit. <laughs> mm. Actually, it's my birthday. Could I have the spaghetti too, please? And me. And me. And me. And, and, me. Me. and me. Everybody loves spaghetti. Would you like some cheese on your spaghetti? Cheese! And balloons, please. Balloons? Of course. Mm. Marvellous! Lovely. Balloons! Hooray! <laughs> this is starting to feel like a birthday party. The only thing missing is the cake. Oh! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Grandpa Big! Blow out the candles, Grandpa! <gasps> Hooray! Birthday party music, please. <laughs> <laughs> this is such fun. <laughs> Happy birthday, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! Peppa Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. I'm Peppa Pig. This is 
my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. The Petting Farm. Mummy and Daddy Pig are taking Peppa, George and Rebecca Rabbit to visit a petting farm. Mummy, what is a petting farm? It's a place where you get to meet tiny little animals. You can feed them and you can stroke them. Ooh! <laughs> I love ickle little animals. There's just one important rule at the farm. Before and after meeting the animals, we have to wash our hands. Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig! This is the petting farm. Hello there, my lovelies. I'm Mrs Badger the farmer. Hello! Now, before we meet the animals, there's one thing we have to do. We have to... Wash our hands! That's right! <laughs> First, we use some soap. It's all bubbly! <laughs> I love bubbles! And now some water. Wash, wash, wash our hands, wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly, wash them nice and clean. <laughs> What kind of animals have you got here, Mrs Badger? We've got chickens. Here are the chickens. It's time for the chickens' lunch. Would you like to feed them? Yes, yes please. please. OK, have a bag of birdseed each. <laughs> here, Chicky Chick, come and eat some seeds. <laughs> chick, chick. <laughs> what lucky chickens. Yes, they certainly are well fed. <coughs> now, who wants to hold a baby chick? Me, 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 me! me. <laughs> oh, they're so little. They're so fluffy. They're so sweet. <coughs> it's true. Baby chicks are little and fluffy and sweet. Mrs Badger, what other animals have you got? We've got guinea pigs. Can we see the guinea pigs? Of course. But before you see them, you need to... Wash our hands! That's right. <laughs> <laughs> wash, wash, wash your hands, wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly, wash them nice and clean. <laughs> Here are the guinea pigs. Oh, look at their cute little faces. Uh. And their fluffy little bodies. You can pick them up and stroke them if you like. Ah, you are lovely. Adorable, aren't they? <coughs> That's not quite the word I would use. And they make excellent pets. Can we have a guinea pig, Daddy? Please? We haven't really got the space to keep a guinea pig. You don't need much space. Uh, and they probably need lots of looking after. No, guinea pigs are very easy to look after. And I would do all the work. But, Peppa, um, you might not want to do that forever and then... You could always look after it for her. Uh, look at the time. I think we have to be getting home. Oh, yes. Look, Rebecca, there's your mummy. She's come to meet you. Here is Mummy Rabbit with the baby twins, Rosie and Robbie. Hello, Rebecca. Hello, Mummy. <laughs> oh, look, cute little baby rabbits. <laughs> yes, my little baby brother and sister really are cute. Can we cuddle them, please, Mummy Rabbit? Of course you can, Peppa. But there's something you need to do first. Wash our hands. Wash, wash, wash your hands. Wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly. Wash them nice and clean. <laughs> now you can cuddle Robbie and Rosie. <laughs> Have you had a nice time today? Yes, Mummy. We fed seeds to chickens. <laughs> we held the baby chicks. We stroked the guinea pigs. Uh. And now, best of all, we're cuddling baby rabbits. <laughs> Peppa loves the petting farm. Everyone loves the petting farm. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig. This is 
my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Pizza, pizza! It is almost lunchtime at Peppa's house. What does everyone fancy for lunch today? Um, can we have pizza? Pizza, pizza! Good idea. Let's make pizza. Ho, ho! I'm a bit of an expert at making pizza. Can George and me help? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> to make pizza, we need flour, tomatoes, cheese, and for toppings, we've got all sorts of nice things. Sweet corn, mushrooms, olives, pineapple. <laughs> George likes pineapple on his pizza. Ah, pineapple on pizza? No, that's just not right. In fact, I think pineapple on pizza is against the law. <laughs> Silly daddy. <laughs> it is actually not against the law to put pineapple on pizza. Um, daddy, can we make funny faces on top of the pizzas? Of course we can. But before we start cooking, we have to wash our hands. Wash, 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 wash our hands, hands. Wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly. Wash them nice and clean. <laughs> Let's wipe the table clean. And put our aprons on. <laughs> right. Let's make pizza. Pizza, pizza. Pepper, George, could you please mix this flour and water together with your fingers? <laughs> it's all sticky and stretchy. <laughs> Perfect. I'm just going to knead it. We sprinkle a little flour on the table so the dough doesn't stick. You need to be big and strong to knead dough. <laughs> I am big and strong. <laughs> And George is big and strong too. <laughs> okay, that's enough kneading. Let's make the dough into four balls. One, two, three, four. And we roll them flat with a rolling pin. Ah, it looks like a pizza now. <laughs> but an expert pizza maker doesn't need a rolling pin. Watch this. Hoopla! <gasps> <laughs> Daddy has a pizza on his head. Ho, oh, oh, ho! This one can be mine. <laughs> Pepper, George, please smooth the tomato over the pizzas. <laughs> I like making pizza. It's lovely and messy. <laughs> Good. That's enough smoothing and splashing. Now for the cheese. Remember, Daddy, we're making funny faces. Of course. I'll use mushrooms to make eyes and olives for the smile. And I'll use onion for eyes and basil leaves for the mouth. I'm doing little tomatoes for the eyes and sweet corn for the mouth. <laughs> George is using pineapple for the eyes and cheese for the mouth. <laughs> I like funny faces. While they cook, we can tidy up all this mess. Um, you and Mummy can tidy up and George and I can do some playing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Pepper and George like playing. <laughs> Mummy and Daddy Pig like tidying up. <laughs> Peppa! George! Lunch is ready! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, your pizza looks like you. Oh, thank you very much. And your pizza looks like you, Daddy. It looks nothing like me. <laughs> I must say, your pizza does look like you, Pepper. Does it? Oh, goody! And George's looks like George. <laughs> <laughs> These are the best pizzas in the world ever. <laughs> Pepper loves pizza. Everybody loves pizza. <laughs> I'm 
my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. TV Land. Peppa and her friends are watching their favourite television programme, Super Potato. Hoo-ha! Am I a bird? Am I a plane? No! I'm a potato! <laughs> <laughs> I love watching Super Potato. Me too. Super Potato is the best. Hoo-ha! Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. Always remember to eat your five. We've seen this before. I know all the words by heart. Yes, they show the same story again and again and again. Brilliant, isn't it? Yes, and we will remember all of the words forever. Yes, we remember all of the words forever. <laughs> Everyone is so tiny on TV. In real life, they are big. How are they big and tiny? And how do they get in our TV? It's some sort of magic. It's not magic, it's science. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. <laughs> <laughs> Would you all like to see how they make TV? Yes, yes please. OK, let's go to TV land. This is TV Land. Stop! Do you work here? Um, no. Then I'm afraid you can't come in. But we are children and we want to see how TV is made. Oh, in that case, in you go. Thank, Thank you. you. Ooh! Wow! wow. Here is Miss Rabbit. Have you come to see how we make television? Yes! Very good. Follow me. <laughs> Look, it's a potato. Hello, everyone. Hello. You see, he's not tiny. He's big. We're ready for you now, Super Potato. The show must go on. This is where the magic happens. It's not magic, it's science. You're a bit of a clever clogs, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> OK, we're ready to go. Light, camera and action. Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. And cut. That was amazing! The camera now turns all of that into magic bits. Electromagnetic signals. That go to a thingy on the roof. Television transmitter. The thingy... Transmitter. Sends the magic bits across the sky to the TV aerial on your roof. Unless you have a cable or a dish. And down into the TV. Susie Sheep and her mummy are at home watching television. Fruit and vegetables keep, keep us, us alive. alive. Always, Always remember, remember to eat your five. Would any of you like to be on TV? Yes, please. We just have to put you in front of the camera. OK. Action. What do I do? Just say something. Anything. OK. I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother George. Wow! Peppa and George are on TV. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Peppa, it's for you. Peppa, I can see you on TV. <laughs> Am I tiny? Yes, you are tiny. <laughs> this is fun. Can I be on TV again? Of course. Now we've recorded that, you can be on TV every day. Hundreds and hundreds of times. Hooray! <laughs> Peppa loves TV. <laughs> Everyone loves TV. <laughs> Peppa 
Peppa Pig. This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. <laughs> Breakfast Club. Peppa and her friends are going to playgroup earlier than usual this morning. Good morning, children. Good morning, Madam Gazelle. Who knows why we have come to playgroup early today? Is it because we didn't learn enough things yesterday? No, Danny, that is not the reason. Is it because you like us so much? Well, I do like you all, but it is not the reason. Is it a very special day today? Yes, Pedro. We have all come to playgroup early because today is Breakfast Club. Ooh! And who knows what we do at Breakfast Club? Eat our breakfast! Correct! I love eating breakfast. So do I. Me too. Everyone <laughs> loves eating breakfast. And why is it so important to have a good breakfast? Because breakfast wakes your mouth up. So we can do lots of talking. Talk, 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 talk. Yes, yes. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> I eat breakfast because it tastes nice. Yes, Pedro. And breakfast gives us energy to use throughout the day. Uh... What is energy? Energy is the strength and vitality required for physical or mental activity. That's right, Edmund. <laughs> <laughs> so, Rebecca, what do you use your energy for? I use it for hopping. <laughs> Very good. I use energy for thinking. What's he doing? Edmund is thinking. Yes, I was thinking. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. <laughs> it can take a lot of energy to think. Ooh. And now we will all choose what to have for breakfast. We have bread, cheese, jam, porridge, yogurt. May I have carrots for my breakfast, please? Yes, you may. Can I have cereal, please? Of course you can. <laughs> Madam Gazelle? Can I have toast, please? Yes, Susie. I shall make you some toast. Does anyone else want toast? No, thank you. OK. The bread goes in here, and we push this lever down. The toaster gets very hot, so please do not touch it. And wait for it. It's coming any minute. Hopla! Got it! Wow! Can I have toast, please? I'm I'm me. I'm I'm me. Everybody wants toast for breakfast. Well, in that case, I will have to use the big toaster. Ooh! It's a super toaster. <laughs> <laughs> Plates ready, everyone. Wait for it. Here it comes. Whee! <laughs> Everyone has caught their toast. Again, again, again! No, children, eat the toast you have first. <laughs> Can I have honey on my toast, please? Can I have marmalade, please? Of course, children. I'm having strawberry jam on mine. I'm having honey, marmalade and strawberry jam on my toast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting lots of energy in my tummy. So am I. I'm getting strawberry jam energy. I'm getting honey jam and marmalade energy. Everyone has <laughs> lots and lots of energy. And now it is time for us to do a breakfast bounce. Follow me. <laughs> we use the energy from the food to get our bodies and minds ready for the day. Copy me, children. Egg, apple, yogurt, pancake and toast. Which one for breakfast do I like the most? Toast, honey, egg, jam, toast, toast, toast. Breakfast is over and everyone is ready to start the day. <laughs>